Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Now last time, Murray flew us up and we had a lot of fun bouncing around in the stratosphere on a bunch of balloons to build a bomb to blast open a train caboose door. But then he went and got himself captured, so you know, we're gonna call that like a 50-50 on his effectiveness out on the field, you know, as far as a performance review is concerned. He's got, he's got, he's got places to improve. But, uh, before we actually go and take on our first Iron Horse train, we still have about 10 bottles left, and there's Carmelita who's pacing around and going to make this really complicated, actually. Because the first bottle that we need to collect this episode is over there on the icicle area, or the iceberg area. Should be, yeah, bouncing around over there all by its lonesome. Let's, let's see if we can snag this. And get out of here before we fall in the water and drown. Or freeze to death, or, you know, however it's killing us. I don't think water's particularly picky. Alright, but with that down, we actually have to go quite a ways away. So hopefully we can do that on the power lines without... You know, getting blasted by these over-enthusiastic guards. Okay, I've got a moment to take a look. And our next one, um, hmm. Okay, I think it's near the second intersection of all three train tracks. So not this one, but a little ways off. You don't have anything good, so... I'm gonna set the alarm for it, you know, and make life hard on myself. Cool. Go me. Did I take damage before, or did you just really smack the crap out of me? Oh, hi, Carmelina! Thanks for joining us! Cool! Glad you're here! You know, girl, I wouldn't mind partying with you sometime, but... Surprise parties with a shock pistol are not my idea of a good time. Alright, there's our next clue bottle. How are we going to get up to this one? Probably from that cabin. I think I can make that. Yeah, with the paraglide. Easy. Gotta love the paraglider. It's so good. It needs to be required in every game. And much earlier in this one. Okay. Now the next three are close together, but they're not going to be a whole lot of fun. You remember that bear? <laughs> that should tell you everything about what's about to happen. You remember the bear? It's one of those sentences that really tells you what's about to go down without actually having to hear the details. Yeah, we got to go in the bear cave. Or around the bear cave. But there are three bottles in the vicinity of some sort of cave that is infested with bears? There's one of them. Right next to the bear. There's treasure. Alright. Next one. Right here. third one around here? Now this is one place where the map is not particularly detailed. So this one actually may take a little bit of hunting. I don't remember specifically where the next bottle around the bear cave is. It's not in the bear cave. Is it on top of the bear cave? Um... It's a possibility. Go away, bear. I'm, I won't bother you if you don't bother me. We can get along. We can be bear and bear friend. And I will not be dinner. Alright, I need to use my ears for this one, probably. It's going to be kind of hard with this train constantly coming around. Mm 
We should definitely be in the vicinity of the bear cave. But all I can hear is a freaking train. And you guys. Oh, you dropped off. Thank you. Wait. I hear something. Is it up or down? And more importantly, is it one that I actually want to collect? I don't think it is. Actually, to be perfectly honest, I think I want to save that one for later. God. I really, really could have lived my entire life without more of you guys. Yeah, sorry, I'm quiet. I'm kind of listening. From my map. Uh, could be along the rails. Oh, yeah, it was coming up behind me. I knew it had to be. Trains really do make listening for things hard. Okay, I don't hear it over here. I don't hear any bottles. I hear one bottle, but... I... Really? You respond that fast? That's annoying. Alright, let's try it again. If I can't find it shortly, I might do a cut until I do. Just because I don't want to be doing this for too long. And I don't have much to talk about if I'm listening for a bottle. But there were supposed to be three in the vicinity of the bear cave. And I... And specifically on this side of the bear cave. So that's why I'm kind of wondering where it could be. It's not inside. Because that would make sense. And it shouldn't be on this side of the bear cave. Wait, wait, wait. There it is. Alright, cool. Man, that's actually fairly well hidden. Let's see if I can get this back. I would love to get this back and conquer all the loot for this level. Since we gotta go get Bentley anyway. So far so good. No more guards. Please, no more guards. We're good. Alright. Cool. So that's all the treasure. Let's snag Bentley and assault our first Iron Horse train. I can see how some people would think that would be fun. It's not my idea of fun. Much like getting shot is not my idea of fun. According to this timetable, Iron Horse number one should be passing by any time now. I see it. It's moving awfully fast. 
Just jump on the caboose and go in through the hatch. Piece of cake. All right, let's see how many times this is going to take, because if I remember right, I'm not actually good at this. All right, I was better at it than I thought. So assaulting the iron horse trains is actually kind of fun, and they bring this back in Sly Thieves in Time. Just going through cart after cart, dealing with all these kind of traps. I don't know why. This is one of my favorite parts of the game. This one's actually kind of fast. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, prefer not to take that one. This actually reminds me a lot of going through the China level and Sly 1. And uh, I didn't mean to step on that. But uh, a number of the temples in the Chinese level were kind of trapped like this. And actually, that was. This is actually kind of a throwback, it feels like, to testing your agility and your timing and all the stuff that made Sly 1 a much harder game than Sly 2 overall. Overall, Sly 2 is not too difficult. It has some missions that are just annoying. But as far as difficulty goes, this game is not nearly as difficult as Sly 1. Ah, and look at the scenery. Look at the birds coming down to kick my ass, but look at the scenery. This is so cool. Punch you off the train. Get some health. Punch you off the train. You can go off the train. Oh. There you go. No, you, you're, you're sticking on there like a champ. There we go. Now you fall to your death. All right, now I still have to deal with the birds. I'm pretty sure. I don't see any shadows though. But I'm pretty sure we're not done with the birds. I need the health. These trains actually look a lot bigger on the inside. These are TARDIS trains, I guess. Doctor Who is one of those whoops Doctor Who is one of those fandoms that I always thought about getting into and never did cool so I get to do this while under a fire awesome that's just what I wanted go away gonna dart you both just to be safe there we go worked out much better and we get our first clockwork part a clockwork along hooray chalk up one strange robot organ for us and one less iron horse train for John Bassan. Couldn't have put that better myself. Things are going great. We've already stolen one of Jean Bassan's three clockwork parts. However, Iron Horse 2 and 3 are going to be a little tougher to crack. First, I'll need to hop aboard Iron Horse 2 and do a little preemptive RC chopper strike to clear out the air defenses. Once cleared, it'll be up to Sly to work his magic in the interior to get at that second clockwork lug. Murray, you'll need to trap some of the local bear cubs in order to unlock a nearby ham car. We're gonna need it to catch up with Iron Horse number three. But don't worry, the cubs won't be hurt. Although I can't say the same for the guards. Oh, we don't want to hurt little bear cubs. They're so cute before they become big killers. All right, 
before we get started with that, let's go get our last five clue bottles and really finish out this level. We'll have all the treasures and all the clue bottles and the special move. I know I haven't shown off a lot of the special moves. I want to say that I've shown off the ones that I find the most useful and you may find different moves more useful for you because you have a different playstyle than I do. Like, for instance, you may actually be better at the game than I am. But, um, one thing that this game does not lack in is variety that does cater to a number of player styles. So, you know, experiment. It's worth it. It's a lot of fun. All right, there should be a bottle over here near this cabin. It is... Right there. Okay. A number of these are going to be out on the ice. It's just going to be a lot of fun. Let's see here. Actually, most of them are going to be over near the ice plane. Yeah, if you do that, you will fall in. And it is instant death. So you kind of have to be careful. <laughs> be a lot more careful than I was. Alright, that's going to be fun. Let's just go ahead and head over to the ice plane. That's going to make this easier. We can actually collect one of the bottles that we heard clinking away that I was desperately trying to ignore because I had a feeling, and it turns out I was right, that... Um, they would be part of this group. There's basically four all around the ice plane at various degrees of elevation. So let's see how fast we can find them. Also, please train do not come along and squish me while I am scratching my cheek. I am probably one of the itchiest people you guys ever heard of at this point. My nose itches, my cheek itches, I'm scratching my ass. I don't know what it is with sitting down to record, but apparently I'm allergic to it. Oh my god, why do you respond so fast? Okay, I definitely hear two. There are two distinct clinkings here going on. Like one's above me on this train track, and one's below me somewhere. Yep, there's one of them. Maybe there's two up there? Yeah, there is two up there. Okay. That makes things easier. third one. There it is. Alright, where's the last one? There it is. Cool. That was much easier. Can I just paraglide over there? Yeah, I can. Oh! Oh! Alright, well, it's not that big a deal. There's ledges right up to it. There we go. Number 30. Let's go get our prize. And then we'll do one more level and we'll call it an episode. I think if I remember right, the safe is in cabin number one. I hope. Uh, cabin number two is pretty close if it's not. Yeah, there it is. And of course, we're going to have to brawl for it. Hmm. 
There we go. We won. Fireworks everywhere. One, two, nine. Oh, the music box. You've gotten the music box move. So the music box, I think, puts enemies to sleep or it distracts them. Let's actually try it out. It either acts as a distraction or it puts them to sleep. I don't remember. Let's see, let's try it out with you. One of you up on the rafters. All right, so it's a tossable. Yep, it does, it does both. It strikes them and puts them to sleep. So you know, it's it's actually a pretty useful gadget if you're worried about guards. Doesn't do very much good if they're already in combat. Also, why do I feel like I fought like eight guards right there? Alright, cool. Alright, we need to pick a... Uh, who? Bentley? Either Bentley or Murray, I think. One or the other. Yep. Sly has no jobs for this part of the chapter. I can tell that train's coming from behind me by the way it's dinging. Alright, well... I think we're gonna do... I think we'll do Murray. I feel like his job is shorter and more to the point. And we'll start next episode with Bentley. So let's see, Murray needs to go all the way over there. Oh, Tank. Goodbye, Tank. How are you gonna get up there, Murray? How are you gonna get up there? How? Glad I jumped off of the rails at that exact point. Oh, obviously that's how you're going to get up there. Duh. You're going to use the train tracks. I'm smart. I was kind of looking for... Whoop! More of a trampoline. Murray, the hippo who cannot swim. There we go. to smash the fence, no problem to free her cubs. That's correct. Beware, cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray. Aw, don't hurt the little cubs. They're so cute and roly-poly. They will make a lot of noise and they will attract guards. Just be aware of that. All right, come on, little bear friend. So cute. Listen to him growl. I love this little bear growls. They're they're cute. They're so soft. Bear cubs are like nature's biggest practical joke. They're adorable but deadly. <laughs> Ah, I couldn't get off the train tracks in time. Good work, Murray. 
I'll send you the right. coordinates to the next Good enough. Cup. Got me out of a brawl. I'll take it. Right, the next one should be over near the bear cave, if I remember right. Yeah. Should be inside the bear cave, actually, which is why there are two markers. One for each entrance. All right. Excuse me, Mama Bear. Sorry to say it, but the other cub is somewhere in this bear cave. Be careful, Burry. Run away! Murray's jumps are all really simple and straightforward. They're not too difficult. Or long. You do not uh, do really complicated tasks as the Murray Bear Ball. The mother is already on her way. <laughs> that was beautiful. Just like a nature documentary. Only more violent. <laughs> All right, we're going to call it an episode there with uh, Mama Bear happily reunited with her little cubs. That's a pretty good place to end an episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw today. If you did, make sure to let me know by leaving me that thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel and you want to watch more Slide 2, subscribe because I upload it every weekday. And if you have any hints, tips, or tricks, make sure to leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Later.